Hello there people and welcome back to another weekly English learning video with myself. If this is your first time here then my name is Gino and I create weekly YouTube content to help you lovely people improve your English for absolutely free video by video. This week's topic I have for you 10, yes 10 phrasal verbs that we use with relation to clothing. But before we get into the topic I just want to mention that this week I have started an Instagram profile so you can catch me on Instagram at Real Everyday English and you can see short 10 second videos like this one to plug in. I am plugging in the toaster which will help you improve your vocabulary even further just by scrolling your Instagram newsfeed. How good is that? More ways for me to help you, which is what I want to do. Okay, so now we've got that out of the way, let's get on with today's examples. Phrasal verb number one is to put on. And to put on with regards to clothing simply means to place a piece of clothing onto your body. So I can put on my hat. Like so. I can put on my jacket. eventually. <laughs> I have now put on my jacket and that is the phrasal verb to put on. Okay, phrasal verb number two which is to take off which is the opposite of put on. So to take off means to remove a piece of clothing from your body. So I'm taking off my hat. I'm taking off my jacket and it means to remove the piece of clothing from your body. That is to take off. Okay, example number three, which is to zip up. To zip up simply means to fasten using the zip. This is a zip. See that? That's the zip of my jacket. So I'm now going to zip up my jacket. And that's to zip up. And example number four is to strip off. Now, to strip off means to remove all of your clothing. Everything you've got on take it off. That is to strip off. Now obviously I can't give you an example of that on this channel because I like to keep things above board but that is the phrasal verb to strip off and it simply means to remove all of one's clothing. Okay and in at number five we have the phrasal verb to button up which means to fasten the buttons on a piece of clothing. If you don't know what a button is, see that? That is a button and to button up simply means to fasten them. So this is me buttoning up my shirt. Fastening them one by one and that is to button up to fasten the buttons. Example number six is to buckle up and to buckle up means to fasten the buckle. See this part? This is the buckle of the belt and to buckle up simply means to fasten the belt. I have now buckled up my belt. Example number seven this week is to dress up. To dress up simply means to dress smartly. So you can see I've got my tie, shirt, blazer. I have now dressed up which means to dress smart. I have to mention that the phrasal verb to dress up also means to wear a costume. So we in English describe that as a fancy dress costume for example and we also use the phrasal verb to dress up to describe when somebody is wearing a costume or has dressed up as a character etc. Okay example number eight which is to try on. Now to try on means to put on a piece of clothing to see if it fits usually before you buy it. So I bought this t-shirt yesterday so I'm going to try it on and see if it fits. Yeah, I've tried it on. I think it fits. I like how it fits my arms. It's nice. I think I'll buy it. So that is the phrasal verb to try on. Example number nine this week is to hang up. And the phrasal verb to hang up means to hang a piece of clothing into a wardrobe using a coat hanger. This is a coat hanger. And this is me hanging up my new t-shirt. And you can see that all the clothes in my wardrobe are hung up. 
Okay, on to number 10, which is last but not least for this week, which is the phrasal verb to wrap up. And to wrap up means to put on sufficient clothing when it is really cold outside. So it's really useful here in the UK because it's cold quite a lot of the time. So to wrap up simply means to wear your jacket, to wear your hat, bob hat as we call it here in the UK. I may need a scarf. And that is to wrap up warm. Okay, people, that is it for this week's video. There you have it. 10 phrasal verbs that we use in relation to clothing. If you like this video, then please feel free to share it with your English learning friends. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I'll see you people in the next video. Until then, bye-bye. Ciao.